Why is Glenn Beck talking about Agenda 21? How does this matter to you? Well, there is a good chance now your local community officials are actively working on implementing this socialist-created redistribution of wealth, globalist scheme disguised really poorly as environmental crusades. And here's how they're doing it. Through this organization, it's ICLI. ICLI. Local Governments for Sustainability. It was launched in 19... Uh, 90, with only a handful of participating governments. Today, over 1,200 local governments are involved. Here's what they do. Anytime you're coming up, your town is coming up with some sort of new zoning or an open space, or they want to have the smart energy meters, anything environmental, park, you must look for the buzzword like sustainable development, because there is a good chance that the people behind it at the local level may or may not have any idea, but the good chance is that the usual suspects are involved just behind the curtain. Let's look who's supporting and partnering with ICLI. We have, oh, spooky dude, is that you? Of course it is me. Everything ends spooky and starts spooky. That's why we call him spooky dude. His Open Society Institute funds ICLI and supports Local Agenda 21. In fact, OSI has awarded a grant of more than $2 million in the past. Another ICLI partner is Green for All. Green for All? How do we know Green for All? Well, if you know and love this crazy cat, Van Jones, you know, the communist revolutionary calling for the overthrow of the government, cleaned himself up, got in bed with this guy, and then found himself in the White House. That's how you know green for all. He recently said at a joint event with Ickley, our green future will be invented at the local level. Mm -hmm. Around the country, we are witnessing cities and mayors taking the lead and developing locally tailored action plans for fighting pollution and poverty at the same time. Remember, green is red. Here's how Agenda 21 is defined by the United Nations. A comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally, and locally by organizations of the United Nations system, governments, and major groups in every area in which humans impact the environment. Wow, that's kind of broad. Now, it has been adopted by more than 178 governments. I believe there's only 191 on the planet. The United Nations had their big conference on the environment and development in Rio back in 1992, and that's when everybody jumped on board. But it sounds harmless. It's only Agenda 21. Yeah, yeah, go look this one up, because it's not so harmless. And it really, can I tell you something? You have to dig pretty deep into this thing. I mean, because look at all this. It doesn't get spooky until about... here. Just section one. Social and economic dimensions, which talks about the redistribution of wealth, changing consumption patterns, promoting health, I love this one, change population and sustainable settlement. Mm. That's good. Then a little later, when it talks about the redistribution of wealth, which we all love, quote, developed countries and funding agencies should provide specific assistance to developing countries in adopting an enabling approach to the provision of shelter for all. So that's like guaranteed housing. Well, that's going to be great because the government's going to own all of our houses anyway because we're all going broke <laughs> because of the... <clears throat> Reading through the pages, it becomes clear sustainable development is just a really nice way of saying centralized control over all of human life on planet Earth. That doesn't sound bad. It starts to make more sense when you see who's responsible for all of this. First, Bro Harlem Brutland. I love her. I don't really know how to say her name because I don't know anybody who names their child with the first name G-R-O, Grow. 
But here she is. Strong like bull. She happens to be the uh, first vice president of Socialist International, which I read in Newsweek, we're all socialists now. Just like girl. Totally unrelated to her work at the UN is her socialist work, I'm sure. Sure. She's also really close friends with the Clintons. Oh, they get along so great. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yoo-hoo. Right here. There she is. She's also active in the Clintons Global Initiative. She's there for the annual meetings. <laughs> yeah. She was there when Hillary received a German Media Award in 2005. And here's Hillary wishing her dear friend happy 70th birthday. Watch. Here she is. As a former environment minister, a longtime advocate for sustainable development, and most recently as a United Nations Special Envoy for Climate Change, mm. you helped set the stage for intensive diplomatic and scientific work being done yes. on this issue today. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Gro wasn't just there. Come on, she's being modest here. Gro wasn't just there. She coined the term sustainable development in a 1987 missive entitled Our Common Future. That was a piece that laid the groundwork for that, this, that's 92 Earth Summit. Which, by the way, the 92 Earth Summit, the conference, you know who else was there? This guy. I love this guy. Love you, Maurice. Thank heaven for little girls. Wrong Maurice. This is Maurice Strong. You might remember him from Crime, Inc. Remember that? Yeah. He's a globalist. He was formerly uh, of the UN. He was on the board of the Chicago Climate Exchange scam. He also has this crazy idea. He wants to have people, if you want to have a baby, you know how that works, right? Because I'm not going to tell you, but I mean, pretty simple. Okay. He wants to make sure if you want to have a baby, you have to have a license. <laughs> He also said the only way to save the world at this point is to have the industrial civilization collapse. So what could be nefarious about what's happening with any of What? It's about helping the planet. All right, so that's how Agenda 21 came to be. Strongly reaffirmed at the World Summit on Sustainable De Development held in Johannesburg, South Africa in 2002. Another Ickley founding sponsor, you're going you're gonna to be so surprised because you've never heard of these guys before, the Apollo Alliance. You know the Apollo Alliance, part of the Tides Foundation? The Apollo Alliance, the ones that gave us the stimulus bill. Yeah, that didn't really stimulate anything at all. Oh, okay, progressive causes is stimulating that. <laughs> yeah, wasted your money. But anyway, the chairman of the Apollo Alliance is Phil Angelides. He spoke at the ICLEI event and he said, quote, our dependence on oil is causing economic instability, warming of the Earth's temperature and threatening our national security. Cities are at the forefront of the movement to forge a new economic strategy that is focused on developing clean energy sources of energy and millions of family supporting jobs. If any of those family supporting jobs would have worked, we would have done them because they tried to do them in Spain. It didn't work. I wish, truly, I wish this was about the globe. It is not. And of course, as we're looking at this board, no crime inc. you know, family would really be complete without the Center for American Progress, which he's involved in this one, in this one, and this one. Yeah, there he is. Their partner too. Quote Solving global warming means investing in new infrastructure and building strong communities and creating good jobs. Local governments are leading the nation into shifting to low carbon economy today in the face of federal inaction. So the feds didn't do it. So that's why they're using the United Nations and they're using your hapless mayor or city council. Most will have no clue as to what this really is. Those who do will say, oh, that's crazy talk. Mm -hmm. By the way, um, Center for American Progress receives money from the Tides Foundation as well. Uh, guess who else Tide supports? <laughs> These guys. But it doesn't stop there. No other supporters include this lady. Remember her? Annie Leonard. You know 
the story of Stuff Lady. Oh, she's great. And she loves capitalism. She loves a uh, republic. She loves our founders. Gang, whenever you start unraveling this, it's like an onion. You just start peeling layers off, and it's always down to the same seed. It is, always. This is a massive movement, and its real intentions are being masked with environmental issues. The bad news is this structure was set up by those who want to establish a global government system. They've set this stru structure up years ago. This is why I keep saying to you, you don't have any idea how far behind we really are. But here's the good news. God is not uninvolved in man's freedom. He's, he's I think, uh, he's, we haven't been looking in his way for a very, very long time. We've screwed our country up. We've screwed up our lives, etc., etc. But he's not uninvolved in man's freedom because man's freedom is going to be used for his purposes. I have no idea. I don't think it's building bigger houses or casinos, but I don't know what it is. But we have to be free. Man has to be free. The only reason we found out about this is because there are citizens paying attention to what is going on in their own local communities. We have been paying attention to Washington. We must stand guard on our own communities. Some people now have begun questioning and standing up to what on the surface seems like a harmless initiative just to save the environment. But it is not. Be awake. Spread the word. Watch your local community. The answer will be found with the individual. The answers and the solutions will be found in the local communities. But once they put their, their fangs into our communities, they'll suck all the blood out of it and we will not be able to survive. Watch out. I told you before, and boy was I hammered for this. I know now why. When I first warned you about a year and a half ago, watch the words social justice. Uh, it's like uh, I said last night, uh, Princess Bride. You keep using those words. I do not think it means what you think it means. They don't. Social justice. A lot of people interpret that in, it's what God wants me to do. Yes. But God wants you to render to Caesar that which is Caesar's. And Jesus never said, take the coat off of your back and then give it to the government and have him divide it up and give it to other people. No, that's for us to do. Look for the buzzwords social justice and look for the buzzwords sustainable development. Some people involved may actually have a pure heart and believe in it the way you do. Most do not. Those who want more government controls are never going to come out and say it. They've got to trick you into it. But the more you follow the usual suspects, the more you'll recognize their hallmarks and the more you can ring the bell and protect your own community.